faces here. And I don't know how many of you know anything at all about the Small Business Association or how we've gotten started, but I just want to do a little recap just to talk about why we exist and, and how we've gotten as far as we've gotten. Um, in 2009, um, a little over two years ago, a group of us got together and decided we needed to form a small business association to take care of the needs of small businesses specifically. And when we say small businesses, our definition is 10 or less employees plus owners. So you could have 11 or 12, two of them being owners and less than 10 employees. That's the definition for, for membership into CISPA. Okay. Um, there are a lot of other things that have been tossed about. Um, we've worked very closely with DCI on setting all of this up. There was talk about revenue. We all know with that, you know, how are you going to tell us how much money you make and do you really want us to know? <laughs> so it's, there's different definitions and different organizations do it different all over the world. Some of them are linked with revenue. Um, for government purposes, we may eventually have to go to something like that. For our purposes, it is based on solely on number of employees. Um, we found that through all the different organizations on the island with those number of employees, we have very similar needs, um, issues, challenges. Um, this attendance tonight is representative of the one challenge that has been brought up every single time we've had a meeting, which is finance. It's been brought up from every small organization, and whether it's in the form of cash flow, um, fees, um, just the cost to run a small business, um, you know, all different forms, but it has been the number one concern for small business owners every single time we've had a meeting. So, here we go with why we've had such a good turnout tonight. Um, but we have tackled other things in our time, in our short time. Um, we have not gotten where we need to get. Um, I will, um, because we've been doing this for two years now, I've kind of become a little bit um, blatant in the way that I, I say things. Um, if you want to become a member of CISPA because you think it can make your world a happier place and you just want to carry a card to say you're a member, then that's probably, this probably is not going to work for you. <laughs> if you want an organization that you can be a part of to make things better for all small businesses on the island, then this is the organization for you. We need people who are going to actually put in the work to make business, small business better here on the island for all of us. We're all facing the same challenges and in this room, just looking at the registration, we have repairs, finance companies, PR, retail, video, graphics, I'm an event company, home interiors, water sports, plumbing, I mean the whole gamut is just right in this room. And that is representative of all the different small businesses on this island. But then again, we're all facing the same challenges. So it's, we need people to really help us in regards to forming this, this association in a solid form so that we can help small businesses. We've done some great things up to now. We've had supplier events. We have suppliers contacting us all the time that want access to you as small businesses. They want to give you discounts. They want to give you specials. They want to do stuff for small businesses. So there are benefits out there to being this kind of organization. We can get a lot of, of things from media, from um, retail organizations, from all sorts of organizations. We can get a lot of benefits from being a cohesive unit. There's also the benefits that we can get financially, and tonight we're going to hear some of them, but I think the whole, the whole basis of our, our formation is to get government to legislate what a small business is. Once that happens, we can then pay lower work permit fees. We can then get the kind of benefits that we really need to make our businesses successful. So I'm just saying that to, in hopes that I kind of stimulate some of you to say you want to be part of the executive, become a member, but really help us to get this formed. We are each other's greatest ally. We had a Facebook workshop, and I don't know how many of you use Facebook. There's a couple here tonight that were there that night. The atmosphere in this room that night we did that Facebook just proved to me that helping each other is, is the best thing that we can do. We all learned from each other in that workshop, and we were all able to go out and use it to help our businesses immediately, because we came with our computers, we set everything up, and we did it as a workshop. These events are called workshops because they're not meant to be us speaking to you or whoever the presenters are speaking to you, we need feedback and we need to discuss among ourselves. This is a safe place because we're all facing the same challenges. We don't need to tell anybody any secrets, but we all know that we're all facing the same challenges. So it's, it's kind of sharing that information and finding solutions that can help us all to be more successful. With that, now I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to <laughs> hand it over to um, David Cham Chamalian. Chamalian. He's an investment sales manager with HSBC, 
He's been in the financial planning industry for 11 years, the last six of which have been with HSBC. Markets and the economy are David's specialty. Um, and there's also potentially Michelle Bodden joining him, who has been in the financial industry for 21 years. Um, a lot of you probably know Michelle. Um, I've known her for a while. Um, the last four, she's been with HSBC, and she's um, in lending, particularly with HSBC. And I will hand over to David.